Hello everybody and welcome to Deception Pass Info. Today we are at gorgeous Bowman Bay. There it is, beautiful. We're going to be talking about Bowman Bay Campground and I'm going to give you all the insider tips and tricks that you will need to make your visit here fantastic for you, your family, your friends, and your furry family because Deception Pass State Park is very pet friendly. This is a 19 site standard site campground and one full hookup site. The standard sites have a picnic table, a fire pit, and there's also a bathroom with flush toilets and hot showers. So after a day of hiking, kayaking, and all kinds of other fun things, you can have a nice hot shower and then sit by your fire and look at this beautiful sunset here. So let's go and I will give you a tour and show you all of the things you will need to know to make this visit fantastic. We'll start at the circular parking lot for Bowman Bay. We'll span around and look at the campground entrance where the shower house and bathroom are located. Here is the information board that has a park map, contact numbers, and also works as an after hour pay station. The campground is set up in a simple loop formation. You have part of the sites that are down by the beach, some in the middle and some up in the, on a hill in the forested area. The first site we're going to look at is site 271. This is the full hookup site. Then we'll span back around. The road is paved. And as we look at the fork in the road, this is where the one-way loop starts. You can see the sites that are closest to the water to the left. And you see the waters of Bowman Bay. Then the sites are, some of them are in the center section here, and some of them are up in the forest to the right. There are fresh water spigots located throughout the campground and easy to access. Here is the view of Bowman Bay in the water from the center sites and the sites that are up on the hill that are nestled into the secluded forest. We are looking directly at some of the center sites. The next thing I'm going to show you is my favorite site. That is site 279. If you can reserve this site, this is the one you want. It is secluded and has the best of all of the features of Bowman Bay Campground. Here's where you park your vehicle. Then we'll look over here at where you would put your tent on this elevated platform here. It's nestled back in the forest. You'll see red cedars and large Douglas fir and lots of huge sword ferns for the quintessential Pacific Northwest feeling that we all love. Now we'll walk up on where your tent will go and I'll show you why this is such a wonderful campsite. As we swing around here, look in the distance and you'll see some people walking. They're walking on the hiking trail that leads out to Rosario Head and the tide pools. That's a very popular hiking trail. So you'll have easy access to that hiking trail, but back far enough that you feel secluded also. Then you have a bird's eye view of the water and the beach. This is really my favorite campsite for this campground. The next campsite I'm going to show you is my second favorite, and that is site 280. This site, the big plus for this site, is that it has unimpeded water and beach views. It is nice and flat for your tent, and you can back your RV or vehicle right up in there. The pros or con is that it's right next to that popular hiking trail out to Rosario Head and the Tide Pools. 
That could be a plus if you like to jump right on the hiking trail from your site or a negative because it could be a little busy. But here's your water. I'm gonna span over and you're gonna see two people standing. They're standing on the actual hiking trail. So you can see how close that is to this site. Now we're going back out to the paved road and I'm gonna show you the sites on the lower loop. These sites are pretty much all lined up right next to each other. They don't have a lot of privacy structures in between, but they are close to the water and the beach. And if you have a group of people that are with you and you can get them all reserved right in the line, then it feels like a fun group site. Now we'll head back out to the entrance where the shower house and bathroom are and the pay station communication board. And what I want to show you now is how close all the sites in the campground is to beautiful Bowman Bay, the beach and the water. It's a short walk down a hill through a beautiful green grassy meadow. This is a perfect place for you and your kids to just romp and play. We'll walk down this hill and in the distance you'll see the structure. This is a picnic shelter made by the CCC in 1933 during the Depression. The CCC is the Civilian Conservation Corps. This is really a beautiful building made out of logs and stone. In it is a wood burning stove, electricity, tables, and windows that overlook the water. You can reserve this by calling the park office for celebrations and gatherings. Whether you reserve it or not, definitely take a moment and check out this building and the architecture. It's very stunning. And here is gorgeous Bowman Bay with its crescent-shaped beach and beautiful waters. Along the beach here are these large fire rings. If you'd like to have a beautiful view of the water at sunset, bring your lawn chairs down from your campsite, put them around the fire pit, build a fire, have your s'mores with your loved ones, and enjoy watching the sunset over the beautiful water. The island in the back is Deception Island. Beyond that are the Straits of Juan del Fuca and the Pacific Ocean. Truly an amazing place to make memories. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in and watching this video on Bowman Bay Campground. And I hope it provided you with lots of ideas and information to make your trip here just fantastic. Come on over to my website at deceptionpassinfo.com. There's a lot of links and blog posts and check out my other videos on this area that will give you tons of ideas of fun things to do while you're here. I have a blog post and video series just on Bowman Bay that explains the Civilian Conservation Corps Museum, the tide pools, the kayaking the bay, the things that you'll see out there, the different animals that are here, the flora and fauna, the hikes out there to Lighthouse Point and Lottie Bay, the bridge, all kinds of stuff just to to help you out with your visit here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get notified of all kinds of other information and videos that I'll post about this and surrounding areas for your visit. I'd like to thank you again for tuning in and can't wait for your visit. Thanks so much.